So good afternoon, guys. Uh, we're ready to start it. Uh, Mike Peterson will not be here today. Uh, it's uh, taking care of some personal uh, things today. And but me and Paco were here, and we're exciting because every week on Tuesday we have a new Bitcoin Circle economy, and the idea is to go deep, you know, and understanding and find different ways challenge weights that we all can support and today uh, we keep uh, having Bitcoin super economies from our last uh, Bitcoin Beach grants uh, 22 new Bitcoin super economies received grants from Bitcoin Beach and today we have uh, Martin Mutonga from Bitcoin Nairobi so welcome Martin how are you doing I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. No, thanks. Thanks you for taking the time. Uh, why we don't start like giving us uh, your background, your personal background, and and how you ending like uh, leading Bitcoin Nairobi? Yeah, sure. I'll be happy to explain that to you guys. So my name is Martin Mutonga. I was born and raised in Kenya in a town known as Kiambu. It's just next to Nairobi. So the way I discovered Bitcoin is after my Form 4, the year 2020. Okay, so I discovered Bitcoin when I was working on a data annotation task at a company known as Africa AI. So I was trying to get like a source of income. Okay, so I saw this ad from uh, a website. It was, I think it was a betting uh, company that you could also bet with Bitcoin. So I saw the ad from there and then I wanted to know more about Bitcoin and also to know what is this Bitcoin thing. So I remember the first website that I went to is bitcoin.org. And I saw uh, the video that is on the website. And then after viewing the video, I started now looking at the Bitcoin white paper. I downloaded the white paper from the website. Yeah, so that is how like I discovered Bitcoin like for the first time. Now from, from there, as I was doing my work there at Africa AI, I now started uh, Sorry, sorry. I think it was my mistake. I mute everyone, but sorry. Sorry, Martin. Continue. Okay, no problem. All right. So uh, after working on, after now discovering Bitcoin for the first time, I now started uh, every day looking at the Bitcoin uh, community in Kenya and also in the world. But first of all, I started interacting with the Bitcoin community in Kenya, attending their graduations, like Bitcoin Dada, the core. I attended several uh, graduations. And then now I started now even uh, going into different platforms, like the Telegram channel for Bitcoin. Okay, so remember that uh, every day I'll check the updates for uh, Bitcoin on the Telegram channel. Okay, so this is like in 2021. I also uh, joined um, different projects. Okay, in Bitcoin, and I also watched the film that you guys made in El Salvador, the El Zonte. Uh, Film, and I was really, really interested in this Bitcoin stuff, <laughs> and also building a product in Bitcoin. So okay. later on. Okay, okay. Just, uh, okay. just a quick question. So, you discovering Bitcoin, you read the white paper, and this was in 2021. It's correct. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then seeing all these projects like Bitcoin Data, uh, Bitcoin Beach, and seeing all these Bitcoin circle, circle economies, you get inspired on creating Bitcoin Nairobi. And so when, what year was that? Okay, for Bitcoin Nairobi was uh, when I learned now the Bitcoin diploma from the core. Okay, the co the co twenty one M by Felix Mukongo. So after learning the Bitcoin diploma, that's when now I was really interested in building now in the Bitcoin space. Yeah. Okay. And that's when we actually launched Bitcoin Nairobi in February tenth this year. Okay. Can you can you give us a little bit of context? What is Bitcoin Nairobi? Where is based? I'm I'm pretty sure I never been in Africa. I never been in Kenya. So can 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 you put us a little bit of context? What you saw, like how that uh, village, city, town, it looked like that made you think like, hey, I can replicate. I can build a Bitcoin circular economy here. Okay. So first of all, when I started the uh... Bitcoin Nairobi, I wanted to really push Bitcoin adoption because I saw, okay, these guys, okay, they call Bitcoin data, they're all doing education. But I I saw that uh, this Bitcoin thing, it's not being used. People are, are not transacting in Bitcoin. People are not uh, moving Bitcoin around. So I really wanted to make sure that Bitcoin is adopted. And when you see our first uh, post in Twitter, it was me onboarding some merchants into now accept, accepting Bitcoin as payment method. But later on, after a while, I came to realize that it's not really about like onboarding them because finally when you onboard them, they don't know what is Bitcoin. Okay, they know yes to transact, but they don't know where they'll get to like acquire Bitcoins where they'll get to send Bitcoins to another person because there's no that uh, community. So I now focused my energy into building um, Bitcoin Nairobi now as a circular economy where we educate people, we'll push adoption and also the Bitcoin innovation. So currently at Bitcoin Nairobi, what we do, we have like different projects under the same uh, circular economy. So for Bitcoin education, we made a project, uh, Bitcoin School Kenya. And the reason why I named it Bitcoin School Kenya is because it's obviously a school, it's training most Kenyans on Bitcoin. Most uh, people from, let's say, Afribit in Kibra, uh, university, university students. So I just named it Bitcoin School Kenya. I love uh, simplifying the products that I built. If it's a Bitcoin school, I just call it it. Like that. So after that, I also built. Um, okay. Currently, the Bitcoin Lipana Bitcoin is underway. We are still uh, looking to partner with some Bitcoin Lightning wallets like Blink to onboard merchants now to accept Bitcoin. But that is after the students who learned at Bitcoin School Kenya. They learn about Bitcoin. They know how they can buy. They know how they can exchange Bitcoin. They know the importance of having Bitcoin. They know the importance of self-custody and all that. Uh, after they do that, uh, they'll be able now to even accept Bitcoin and be able to preach Bitcoin to other guys. So that is where we currently are. Currently, we are at cohort two at Bitcoin School Kenya. And after now the cohort, because we are doing like a mentorship program after the classes on the Bitcoin diploma. Now after the mentorship program, now we go to onboarding the merchants to accept Bitcoin. And the cycle continues because I wanted it to be like a cycle. You come into Bitcoin Nairobi, you learn. After you learn, you go, your business is onboarded. If you are a merchant, after you're onboarded, you get to uh, teach the Bitcoin to other guys, okay? So if maybe you're not a merchant, maybe you're a student at university level, 
you come at Bitcoin uh, school, you learn, after you learn, you go now to innovation. Innovation is like Bitcoin Nairobi developers. So you get to build products for these people in the community um, or these merchants. Maybe you can even build a, a tool that will help them be able to transact Bitcoin easily because I believe uh, transactions are like the most basic thing that will make uh, Bitcoin thrive here in Africa. Yeah. No, that's a that's a um, that's a really interesting point that you're you're mentioning because um, uh, we, we saw this in a lot of projects that the first things that they want to do is onboarding merchants, right? And and it's, it's cool, you know, it's cool to have like a lot of merchants that accept Bitcoin payments. But if there are not people that want to pay in Bitcoin, then start getting tough, and then you know you got to deal with that. And so I. We, we personally prefer to educate people, creating the education around the community and get people to know, maybe get people to have incomes in Bitcoin, earn in Bitcoin. And then you can go and open in like merchants, like the first merchant in, the, in a community in the city, you know, a cafe, a, a restaurant, a bar. And then that, that merchants will have like uh, cu customers like every week, you know, that come to and, and want to spend in Bitcoin and that will, you know, like spread from there, right? The other merchants will will see that example and they will 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 want to accept in Bitcoin, Bitcoin payment. And that's how more or less it happened here in Bitcoin Beach, you know. So that's I think is 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 it's really good you're thinking like this to go slow step by step, you know. And so, so far, how many students you have been uh, training? So currently we have like 150 students in the, uh, who have gone through like the Bitcoin diploma. Okay. And yeah. can, you, can you tell us a little bit about like what are the uh, age, what age are these people? Kids? Adult. Okay. Yeah, so most of them are like young teenagers. Okay. Let's say like uh, Gen Zs. So we have Gen Zs mostly and some millennials who want to learn about Bitcoin. So let's say from even 18 to like 30, 35 there. Yeah. yeah. That's the age group that we are currently working with right now. And what are, what are are you are you seeing more interesting on on the people in Nairobi to to learning about Bitcoin? What is the current situation like? Uh, look like now. <clears throat> okay, I see. Uh, I see. I see. Most people are very very interested. And it's only that we don't have a lot of tutors or a lot of people who are volunteering in this space, maybe. And I don't blame anyone for it. Uh, it's just that uh, education has not arrived in every place, maybe. Yeah, but we are still pushing, trying to find new communities, telling them about Bitcoin, finding uh, after we train these people about Bitcoin, we get to... I emphasize on them to volunteer on other Bitcoin projects. Like my students, I really encourage them to volunteer in teaching other uh, students who come in. Like right now, I have asked for volunteers in my project and my students, 24 of them actually said that they are willing to volunteer and to train in other people. So I think that is how we, we, we push Bitcoin education here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's 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 cool. And what are the? Can you share a little bit with us? What are the challenge that you're finding now? You know, like uh, you know, every community, every city is different. You know, some cities, some communities have been have been like dealing with a lot of cheat coins. You know, a lot of people get scammer before, and now. 
like the the mm. consumer economies are trying to clean that that mess, you know, that maybe people get into cheat coin before and they don't trust Bitcoin. And is is that the case in Nairobi? Yeah, cheat coins have been really uh, a lot in Kenya, and you see most of these cheat coiners they come up uh, with their cheat coin projects into Kenya. They come and fund some. They, they call them campus tours. They go each and every campus telling these people about uh, shitcoin. And then after they uh, introduce them to shitcoin, they now start like telling them how uh, crypto will make them rich. Okay. And then they start building some shitcoin projects and rug pull some people here in Kenya. So, and <laughs> it's really crazy how. Uh, the shitcoin business is happening here in Kenya because a lot of people are losing a lot of money and also even their privacy, like a shitcoin project that could take your iris data. So they went away from Kenya and I know that they took uh, some very, very important information from Kenyans. Okay. So I don't love the way uh, shitcoining is happening. Okay, and I think uh, <laughs> we have a fight. We have a very big fight, uh, uh, and um, I I really want to make sure that all the shit coiners are out of our country. <laughs> <laughs> they must get out. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you yeah. you can do it. Put them out out of the country. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I believe it. You see, I make I must make the city clean. Okay, Bitcoin my, Nairobi should be clean. If you don't show proof of work, you better fuck off. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. You can tell them that. <laughs> that's 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 good, man. That's that's good, and that is a that is a mess everywhere you know and and it's a it's a problem right it's a problem because uh, uh people <clears throat> we all know there is not gonna be another bitcoin you know how they sell the idea of 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 cheat coins you know and and it's, it's, it's we have to work in we have to work in together we have to do education we have to, uh, you know, keep keep educating people, keep having these spaces, keep talking with people, you know, because that's the only way that, you know, will prevent eventually that more people understand Bitcoin and more people help other people to understand Bitcoin, you know. But, yeah, so... Can you, can you, I don't know, like I say, I never been in, in, in Kenya. Can, can, can you explain us how, how it is living in Kenya if you want to live in Bitcoin? Like, for example, what are the, uh, like, Bitcoiners that live there or earn in Bitcoin? How is the, how is the situation to, you know, off-run, exchange Bitcoin for local currency? How that, that look like? Now, okay, Kenya, Kenya is ve a very cool country in the aspect of uh, Bitcoin adoption, because actually uh, we are nicknamed in Africa the Silicon Savannah. So we really adopt technology very, very, very fast. And so on off ramping and on ramping of Bitcoin, mostly we use exchanges, but recently. Our guy Tando came up with this uh, platform which can be able to like send Bitcoin and the guy who or the merchant can receive in M-Pesa. You see in Kenya, our our PayPal in Kenya is M-Pesa. So most of the, like 97% of transactions are done online using M-Pesa. So I think uh, Tando really did a good job building that. Okay. And what is, are different. what is the local currency again? Sorry, I didn't hear. The local currency? Yes. What's the name? Oh, Kenyan shillings. Kenyan shillings. Kenyan. Yeah, okay. Yes. Mm. And what, what is so the exchange the rate local. with the dollar? 
the, with the Kenyan shilling? Mm, let me check. I was in the bank today. I think it was one twenty-seven. One dollar. One dollar was exchanging at one twenty-eight Kenyan shillings. How, how much? Yeah. How much? One twenty-eight. One twenty-eight Kenyan shillings. One twenty, you say? Yeah, one hundred and twenty-eight. Okay. Okay, yeah. and what you can, uh, sorry, before you, 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 you come back to that, but just to put people in context, yeah. what you can buy with that, like mm. what, what you can do like with a dollar, like with 120 uh, Kenya, mm. Kenya. Uh, 129, okay. You can buy, you can buy bread, okay. You can, you can buy bread uh, at, okay, there's a bread for 100 shillings. And there's also a, a bread for 60 shillings. So you can buy bread and what else can you buy? Okay, only bread. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe a half a liter of milk. Yeah, a so half a so liter of milk. A, so you have an yeah. important problem of inflation, right? Yeah, it's it's really hectic. I remember I, I once asked my mom how it was like, uh, let's say before 2008, and she told me, like, even with a thousand bob, she could be able to buy the whole household uh, food for a week. But right now, with a thousand shillings, Kenyan shillings, you can only buy like only two two products. That's like uh, household products for only like two days or something. So it's really crazy here in Kenya, the way uh, our money is being inflated, and. The fucking government is continuing to print money. So this year they actually contracted a German company to print more money. So I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw it also like, yeah. And and how many? It's crazy, it's crazy. No, inflation is hmm? inflation is it's, it's it's bad everywhere, and you know, and that's why everyone need Bitcoin, man. And, and we're. We're, we're agree with this, but how many people uh, Kenya has? Like how many habitants? Mm, I think over over fifty million currently. Fifty million, 50 million people. Kenya. Fifty 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 million. Wow, it's huge. Mm. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, and what and, is the and yeah, we and we. Are, Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. One question before you 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 keep going is like how wh how look the, the the lack of financial inclusion? How many people of these fifty million people you think have a bank account? Mm. Let's say let's say even like twenty million have a bank account, but uh, you see we have this uh, Mpesa thing. Uh, the Mpesa thing has like 40 million in it. So most people have like access to like online payment methods. But for a bank account, let's say like only 20 million people have a bank account. So you have 30 million people that doesn't have access to the, let's call it the financial, financial uh, yeah. system. That we know. Yeah, I yeah. And and can you just go? Can you just repeat like uh, these thirty million people that don't have a bank account? I'm pretty sure you have immigration too, like people sending money to to Kenya from different countries, I guess, in remittances. Okay, remittances. Uh, remittances usually uh, maybe they use banks most of them and okay you know Western Union we know Western Union yes yeah yeah mostly most people use Western Union to send remittances from because PayPal has been uh, a bit hectic from from where are the most like wh where is the biggest population of Kenya? outside of Kenya, like what country they they emigrate? 
Okay, most most Im- immigrants. Okay, Kenyans are everywhere. First of all, <laughs> I, I know that there are also Kenyans in El Salvador, maybe. But the most uh, migrant Im- immigration is in the Arabian countries, the Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Dubai. Yeah, they are going to build the maybe some others are like domestic workers, others are construction workers, others are drivers. Chauffeurs, yeah. Wow. And did, so you, most, yeah. and did you know, did you know, Martin, how much Western Junior is charging to these people to send money to Kenya? Like, I remember here in El Salvador, but I, I don't, I don't remember now the, 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 the percentage that they were charging, but it was like, well, I don't have it clear now, but I don't know if you if you if you know how much these people pay in fees to Western Junior. I I I don't know about the fees. Maybe maybe I look for um, it later on. Yeah. So let me let me let me try to look for the fees. From Western Union, I'm I'm assuming it's gonna be around ten percent. Yeah, kinda. Because also PayPal, it's like ten percent if you are using PayPal, and most people also use PayPal to send to Kenya, especially the guys in USA, the US. And PayPal works works well for everyone, or or why you say why you were saying it was tactical recently? Yeah, it's, yeah. People, people, it's actually very very crazy. They actually like lock your money for like one eighty days. If it's uh, money, if it's money from another country, they lock it for like one eighty days. I actually had also a problem with PayPal when I was doing my AI uh, annotation work because we were paid in PayPal. So uh, sometimes my money could be locked like for 180 days before I accessed it. You, you're you saying one, 180, 180, 180 days? 100. Yeah, 180 days. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, and and right now for lightning transaction, it's actually like a second you you have your your money. If it's any freelance job, and they uh, no, so Martin, I'm I'm curious that um, another very important aspect for building the use case for Bitcoin in a community is. The minimum wage. What what's the case in, in Nairobi? Uh, can you do you have the number in both shillings and dollars? Uh, a minimum wage for employees, or yeah, for 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 jobs for employees. Okay, currently currently we don't have like employees under our circular economy. Okay. No, but, no, but I mean in general, if you if you are hired in a government job or in in a restaurant or whatever, what's the minimum mm-hmm. wage? Oh, for Kenyans, for for any Kenyan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's thirty 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 thousand Kenyan shillings. That's like three hundred or two two hundred and seventy uh, dollars. That's yeah, like okay. the so it's, pretty, it's pretty low, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's low. Uh, considering you see, most even uh, uh, freelance companies, uh, they pay even in hours. Let's say even at twenty dollars an hour, that can amount like two two hundred yeah. if you're working for a lot of hours. So that that's a monthly yeah. wage, right? Three hundred dollars a month. Yeah, three hundred dollars a month is monthly. Yeah, yeah it's pretty low. For, for so, so it's definitely a, a good use case for Bitcoin there in the city in Nairobi. Yeah, I'm actually uh, looking forward to be talking to most uh, companies to now start paying their employees in Bitcoin. Yeah, I'm looking forward to such conversations 
especially to those who maybe their employers, they come through Bitcoin school, they learn about Bitcoin, and maybe they will also want to pay their employees in Bitcoin. No, that's, yeah. that's, that's really cool. And can you, can you put us, did you know what our, uh, well, uh, Kenya is like, I didn't know you guys have 50 million people <laughs> in the country. What are the main resources that Kenya have? What are the main incomes for the country? Like what you guys have, gold, I don't know, can you, Ooh. remittances, <laughs> What are the main <laughs> incomes for the country? Oh, we have we have a lot of uh, source of income. Uh, number one is our maybe you have you have heard of Kenyan avocados, the tea. We also grow tea. We have uh, coffee in Kenya. We are actually a very blessed country. We have uh, tourism also. We have very nice beach or coastline. We have nice uh, parks in Kenya. That, uh, okay, and also, yeah, and also maybe uh, the skills that we we offer, like in terms of the professions. So we offer a very good. Uh, we are very hardworking. So in the labor market, we offer quality uh, people. And that's why I'm saying Kenyans are everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, that's good. That's good. And yeah. how is the how is the life now in 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 Nairobi in Kenya? Like, if you can explain us, like, how the young generations feel about it. Like, I know you were you were talking like inflation is is a problem everywhere, right? In some countries, is it's uh it's, it's getting to the point that is desperate like people are struggling with keep up like with the value of their money you know so uh, can you can you explain us how is the situation now if Kenya people are still are, are looking to go outside are looking to stay in building in the country how is the situation now uh, the situation in Kenya is crazy crazy it has never been like this um uh, in recent uh, like in the last month we had like protest because uh, the government wanted to like increase uh, taxes on on some products and we had uh, the gen z's actually protest against this and the government has not okay it, the finance bill that they were proposing was not passed but uh on the aspect about taxes, it's still there, it's still happening. They're still increasing taxes. They also want to like um, introduce uh, foreign investors to come like into the public spaces like the the airport. They introduce Adani. Okay. So it's very, very crazy here in Kenya right now. Okay. Prices of Oil, it's increasing, and they're still printing money. Oh, okay. And um, I see some people requesting to 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 speak. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna add them in a few minutes. You know, so if you have question for Bitcoin Nairobi, prepare your question. We're gonna uh, allow you guys to come, or if you just want to put the you know, an encouraging word for the work that uh, Martin is doing. Um, well, you can you can say it in the space too. And so, Martin, I know there are so many things that Bitcoin can fix, right? Everywhere, like Bitcoin is the solution for many problems that countries have. You know, inflation. You know, corruption. Everything, right? But what you see, uh, Bitcoin could do for Nairobi, like for Kenya, what what is the motivation behind the, the Bitcoin Nairobi and what are the, the goals that you want accomplishing in, uh, you know, short, medium and long term, you know? Okay, long, long term will be to combat corruption because Kenyans are very corrupt. <laughs> 
Yeah. And you, you can say that our leaders are corrupt because the leaders just come from the community. I mean, it's if, if you see a leader is corrupt, it's actually the best we can uh, give from that community. So it means it's all the Kenyans are corrupt. And I think uh, if we have an, a tool like Bitcoin, okay, something that a transaction can be seen, if it's a project you have been given to work on, you can see this money has been spent here. This is how you utilize the money that we gave you. So I think uh, Bitcoin is a very good tool if Kenyans will adopt it in future. And it's possible. We'll make it possible in just like a few times, <laughs> like in five years. Yeah. Uh, okay, in short term, I believe uh, it will be like a tool for reaching out uh, to request for our freedom because we really need like freedom from all this uh, fiat system, this broken system. Yeah. And also it's a tool to connect people because uh, Bitcoin has a way to connect people. Like right now I've met you guys from El Salvador. You have, I've never been to El Salvador. You guys have never been to Nairobi. You see, it's a, a very great tool to connect with people. Yeah. And also to learn. Yeah, no, I think that's the that's the most beautiful thing that Bitcoin brought, right? That Bitcoin is a it's a tool that is helping communities, is helping individuals, families to to fight. Let's say in this in this way to fight the different things that you're not agree, but it's also empowering empowering communities uh, giving access to people that never had access you know and it's so beautiful to see the same tool that we're using here to uh, for you know financial inclusion uh, seeing the same tool doing uh, the same thing in Africa in Asia in Brazil in in North, in North America all over the world you know we all are using the same tool we are we all are using uh, the same tool in different ways but we all are benefit from it and that is beautiful you know and i think uh, the connections that bitcoin have been making for us and we keep you know knowing and we're here sitting, you know, learning about this project in Nairobi, in Kenya, you know, and, and, and it's exciting, you know. And now it's another place to book in our booking list that one day we want to visit, you know. And the list keep growing and, and we need more time, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, ex it's, it's, it's exciting. And so one question, one more question before we open in the mic for people that have questions is um, what are, how people can support your project? How you see, uh, we, we hear very often, like, you know, we're here in El Salvador, like how people can support Bitcoin Nairobi? What are the ways that you can, you can tell people like that can support what you're doing there? Okay, for, for support, I would really want uh, volunteers in terms of like training people on Bitcoin. And at Bitcoin School Kenya, and also the developers. Also, I want uh, like volunteers who will be able to train the children or the students on developing and building on Bitcoin. If it's financial support, uh, uh, we have like a Geisha fund for the support in SATs, maybe. Yeah, and also, yeah, maybe. I, I really need volunteers, yeah. Like, I, I need people who have experience in Bitcoin to teach. Yeah, at least we build the community and I believe that I cannot be able to do it alone. And with other plebs, with other Bitcoiners, with other tutors, I can be able to, like, impact a larger uh, community. Yeah, yeah maybe that. Okay, yeah. perfect, perfect. So we're gonna open the 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 Max guy. Uh, remember, we have Bitcoin Nairobi. We have here uh, uh, Martin, who is leading the project. So let's. If you have a question for Dan, 
So I want to share a small history with them. I encourage them to keep working hard for Bitcoin Nairobi. Uh, this is the time. We have here Tevin, Tevin 2.0. Welcome. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Um, I'm glad to see you here. I'm glad to see you, Lomo, Roman. I've been going to Nairobi. I've, I've been a volunteer and I've enjoyed the race this guy is doing. He's been up top. He's been up to the challenge, making merchants out here. And I can say I almost missed this, but I love you people from El Salvador. I have a lot of work I want to go do there. Maybe the WorldCoin thing is going to integrate with Bitcoin. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, when, no, are right. you, think, when are you yeah. coming? That's the question. <laughs> uh, I, I love to come soon. I love to come soon. But uh, inflation, inflation is my, our goddamn thing. People are printing <laughs> money out here. Where are you based? Uh, I'm based in Nairobi currently. There's a town called the Thika. Okay. Uh, it's like 40, 40, it's like 45 minutes uh, to Nairobi. And I've I've been with the program with Bitcoin Nairobi since since this year started. And I've been a volunteer. I want to volunteer uh, into the upcoming events are showing up in Kenya. And maybe we get more help from you. Yeah, no, no, we're 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 exciting also. We have here also Bitcoin Ekasi. Bitcoin Ekasi, I don't know if you know about Herman and Bitcoin Ekasi in South Africa. Uh, I, I, I will. I, I won't say I don't know. I'll say I'll get in touch. Uh, I'll get to know much more about uh, what, you're, what you're currently building, what Bitcoin, what Bitcoin Beach is, and whose Roman is. I'll, I'll I'll try to to base my things into El Salvador. Yeah, no, no, no. Looking forward to connecting more. And the, here is Herman for Bitcoin Ikasi. You should follow, get in touch with him. He's in in South Africa and in Muscle Bay, and he's also like supporting Bitcoin Circle economies from from Africa. You know because he's more close. Uh, from that region than than us, but we're working in in together, you know, to help more Bitcoin circle economies, more projects, and until we 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 can do it, you know, and and we're happy. So thank you for being here, and keep 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 going, keep working hard. We have a Bitcoin, the core Bitcoin education. Welcome. Hey, hey, um, yeah, I don't know if you can hear me. We can hear you. All right, all right, thank you so much. Um, Thank you so much for the opportunity. Actually, mine is not a question, it's just kind of a comment. I want to appreciate what uh, Bitcoin Beach is doing. And of course, uh, I really have to come in and say, uh, Martin is uh, really doing a great work. Um, And uh, I really just want to appreciate uh, since we've started uh, the call before, uh, it's it's been a great thing uh, to to see uh, Martin kind of evolve from all the way being a student uh, from the call and uh, gaining that confidence in building something in the Bitcoin space. Uh, that is to mean uh, Bitcoin Aerobi, Bitcoin School KE, and of course Bitcoin Aerobi is one like the very first uh, circular economy be built here in Kenya. And I'm super excited to see what's uh, happening there. Uh, of course, we understand uh, the importance of a circular economy and all that. And um, we are looking uh, into ways to continuously collaborate uh, from the point of education and circular economies to see how we can have this collaboration bring out the best of uh, Bitcoin to uh, every citizen uh, here in Kenya. So I really appreciate what he's doing, the work he's committed to, uh, the, the every commitment that he's uh, putting in to ensure that a circular economy is being built. Uh, and also looking at my own profile aspect, Felix Mukungu, we've collaborated with Martin in onboarding businesses to accept Bitcoin as payment. 
Uh, we are at about 15 shops. We had a target of 100. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's all within trying to build something in the Bitcoin space. And Martin is always trying to come in and ensure that all works in terms of a circular economy. So I'm super excited that he's doing all this in terms of building a circular economy and in whichever the way we can collaborate and Always, I appreciate Bitcoin's social layer. Uh, looking at, uh, we've never been able to meet with people physically, maybe from all the way from El Salvador to other parts of parts of the country. And here we are speaking or oh, united with a common language, and then uh, a, a unifying currency, which is Bitcoin. And it's super exciting to see how this is going to unfold. Uh, yeah, so that wasn't really a question, just a comment on what Martin is doing and generally is uh, doing so much great in terms of building in the Bitcoin space. So I'm super excited to see you guys coming in and supporting him uh, at the best that you can. And also those people who are doing that on the sidelines, maybe uh, we also want to appreciate them and what you guys are doing is super great to empower such kind of initiatives uh, to ensure that Bitcoin thrives uh, uh, in every part of the world. So thank you so much, Martin, and to everybody who is doing that and also ensuring the support. Uh, we are truly appreciating what you guys are doing. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Thanks you. Thanks. Thank you for joining the space and 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 share a little bit a little bit of your story and how you're involved in project. So uh, is there is Something else, we have 10 minutes less to go. So I don't know, Martin, if, we, if there is something else that we're missing that you would like to, you know, highlight and, and, and share with us. Yeah, so I also want to, like, encourage the young people who are in this coin. I started, uh, okay, I discovered Bitcoin maybe when I was very, very young. Right now I'm only 20 years old. And I've been able to build a Bitcoin Nairobi, Bitcoin School Kenya, and I'm still pushing. And uh, there are some people who maybe saw my age and they didn't believe in me. Okay. Uh, I've been criticized a lot. Okay. Maybe some people say that I'm crazy. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm too young for it. But I'll just tell them, like Satoshi said, if you don't believe me or don't get it, I don't have time to try convince you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. I see you, bro. Look, yeah. um, some we, some we. some leaders from some Bitcoin circle economies are young like you. There are some leading Bitcoin circle economies that are old like Herman from South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, so I I, I want to um, empower a lot of young people since most of the population in Kenya like is composed of the young people. And I believe also the young people have like an opportunity to build in the Bitcoin space. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so and, amazing. So, and, oh. <clears throat> now go, 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 go ahead. I want to share something really... Quickly, quickly after after this. Yeah, sure. So I appreciate uh, Bit Bitcoin Beach even for setting the way. Uh, Bitcoin Ekasi Harman, I really uh, copied your work or maybe looked your work <laughs> at Bitcoin Ekasi, and yeah, it really helped me when I was starting the circular economy. Yeah, thank no, you so much even for having me. That's that's good, and you know, uh, Martin. Like I, I used to joke, joke, make the joke, joke about it that when we got to conference, you know, the the leaders of Bitcoin Circle Economy. Sometimes we don't come from a tech background, you know, we're not the smarter people, right? But we just are committing to building something for for the community, you know, that we're learning from this tool. This tool give us opportunities. And we want to share this, you know, and but it's so funny, you know, when you go to conference and you have Peter Todd, 
giving a speech, you know, and everyone in the meeting in the in the in the conference room is like, "Wow, that guy is super smart," you know, like we all agree on that, you know. But when 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 they see us giving giving a a speech and talking about Bitcoin circular economies, people I see people start looking at each other and say. Wait a minute, if these guys can build a Bitcoin circular economies, I can do it, you know? They don't look so smart, you know? <laughs> so it, there, are always people, there are always ways to inspire people, you know? So we all are doing our work, our best, you know? <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> so don't feel, don't feel bad about it. You're not young, you're just doing the right thing and you're working hard for this. So... We have here Connected, uh, welcome, Connected Geek. Yeah, sure. I'm happy even for Bitcoin Nairobi being uh, recognized by Bitcoin Beat. You know, uh, uh, great opportunities are coming, more connections are coming, more uh, interactions with the greater world. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for having me. I have actually, <laughs> I've actually met uh, met Martin through a common WhatsApp group, which we have, which is run by a guy by the, by the name Hazard. I think he's familiar with Martin. I've been editing some crypto content, and I think I've, uh, I'll be volunteering in that sector. With that, um, I appreciate what you are doing. And... Uh, yeah, I'm very positive of much good outcome to come to, to come out of ourselves in terms of building the solution to the community. Thank you. Thanks you for joining us. So uh, I don't know if there is another question, guys. Uh, otherwise, uh, I think we can. If you wanna, when if you Martin wanna close the space, uh, we can go with the final thoughts and and we can stay here. Martin, can you hear? Can you hear us? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good. So, so actually, I have one last question for you guys. Uh, so, uh, if someone want to visit in Kenya, in Nairobi, what is the best time of the year? And I don't know if you guys are working on something like events. I know there is going to be some, uh, the Africa conference in, in December. And uh, this year is not going to be in Ghana, right? It's going to be in, uh, I don't remember now. And... So, yeah, if someone want to visit and connecting with you, what's the best way to get in contact with you guys? Okay, for our contacts, you can find them on the Bitcoin Nairobi website, uh, www.btcnairobi.com. Or also, you can email me at martin, martin at btcnairobi.com. Okay, that's my email. And also on our ex, you can also email us. Follow us on Twitter. We are also on Nostra. You can follow at BTC Nairobi, the username on Nostra. And yeah, that's how you can get to reach us. Mm, about uh, visiting Nairobi, yeah, I invite you all to join uh, ABC. It will be coming to Kenya. We are very, very excited to host uh, the Africa Bitcoin Conference and hoping to see most of the Bitcoiners in Africa and not only in Africa, even in the world. Yeah. So welcome to Kenya. We say Karibu Kenya in Kenya. Kar Karibu Kenya. Yeah, Karibu. Karibu means welcome. Oh, welcome nice. To, yeah. Nice. Hakuna I Mata. hear... I have been hearing from a lot of people that are going to go to the uh, Africa conference this year. So, uh, yeah. yeah, there is going to be a uh, good people, good conference. So for everyone listening or we're listening from the uh, YouTube, uh, go and support uh, everything that is happening in Africa. You know, uh, uh, we cannot go 
We will not gonna be possible for us to go this year, but next year for sure we wanna go. And yeah, looking forward. So anything else, Martin? Otherwise we can close here and thank you guys. Thank you for uh, being here today. Uh, remember every Tuesday we have a new Bitcoin Circle Economy and yeah. Uh, Roman, I love to, I'll, I'll love to ask for support. I, I need people from uh, Ecuador, I need people from uh, another Argentina, from the South of, uh, American countries. If I can get anyone in contact with, I have a lot of business I'm doing there. I'm doing online writing, I'm doing, I'm doing major transaction, I'm doing uh gift cards i'm doing almost anything so if you want to contact me you can contact me here uh on my on my x channel or you can have my number my private number where it's uh you can talk to me on whatsapp or you can talk to me on telegram i can give out the number here if you want to can, can i give it out mr roman yeah sure you want to share your your number with everyone <laughs> Go to it. I want to share. I want to share. No, I don't want to. I don't care about scammers or shit, but come to me with a general opinion. You can text me through WhatsApp or Instagram uh, at 254. That's plus 254-706-164-872. That is 254-706. 164872. Thank you very much, Roman. Thank you, Bitcoin Nairobi. Uh, I've enjoyed my stay here. I've enjoyed connecting with you guys and looking forward to for more work. Perfect. So thank you. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, everyone. See you next week. Bye. Amazing. Thank you so much, Roman. Bye. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.